It's raining cats and dogs, a perfect day to test out GPS dog collars, right? Well, today I'm gonna test out the Halo Collar 3 and the Spot On, so I'm gonna tell you what I found out. Hey look, we're getting a little bit of sunny weather. Finally, I can do my review. I've been waiting to do this. Hey, this is Matthew. I am here to review the Halo collar and the Spot On collar. Both excellent GPS enabled dog collars that I highly recommend. But I kind of want to just go through some of the differences between each collar so you can make the best decision. Now, first off, you saw me in the rainy, windy weather. Yes, it was rainy and windy earlier today. I left both Halo collar and the Spot On on my picnic table for about 45 minutes in the pouring rain and I can tell you that both collars absolutely survived and that wasn't a surprise to me but that's one thing that I haven't tested out yet so I wanted to really make sure. Uh, both of these collars have a waterproof rating it's called an IP67 waterproof rating which means that they could even go the dog can even go underwater for up to 30 minutes and the collar should still perform just fine and I think that's uh, something that you can cross off your list if that's any kind of, of a worry to you. So 90 days, spend time with both callers and here's a couple of things that I've learned that I wanted to call to your attention. First off is the cellular connection. Your connection on both of these is very, very different. Halo connects to the strongest cellular signal that's available. Why is that important? I just went up on it trip up into the mountains and as I'm driving I notice oh I don't have any cellular coverage oh it says it's mountain cellular what what is mountain cellular and my phone really wasn't working well um, but then I looked down at the halo it was automatically connected somehow the halo automatically connects to the strongest signal and that's very important if you're in an area with weak Wi-Fi you know a lot of trees dense stuff cellular can be a very great source for the dog collar to get the signal. I do think the halo collar has some great advantages over the spot on. Uh, if you look at the the price of the collar, halo is about half the price of what you would pay for the spot on. Um, the training is amazing. The overall experience I had with the halo, I have to say, is, is really, really great. Spot on collar. You've got to select your carrier. So if you got AT&T, you get an AT&T Spot on collar. What if you go up in the mountains like I did and they don't have AT&T or they only have Verizon or whatever? What if you change cellular providers? You're stuck. You got an AT&T collar. It doesn't connect to the strongest cellular connection and provider that's out there. So that is a big, big, big negative in my mind uh, for the spot on. Now maybe one difference between the two collars when it comes out to being in the elements is the protective cover here on the Halo. Let's see if I can open this up. It actually comes in multiple colors. So if you're not a fan of gray, you've got multiple colors and you can find out more about that on the, the Halo website. But anyways, this, this, this cover, I think does a good job of actually protecting the collar. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Whereas spot on, I mean, it's just right here, right? So all the controls, everything is just really open uh, to the rain. If your dog was to go in, underwater, still performs fine. But to me, it just seems like, uh, a better option to actually have this protective cover. Okay, let's talk about training. And no, I'm not talking about uh, teaching your dog to uh, sit or fetch or give paw. No, I'm talking about training them how to use the collar and what's expected of them. Both collars give very good training, but I have to give the edge to Halo for sure. Why? First off, it's founded by Caesar Milan. The training with the halo is really kind of around the psychology of the dog and how dogs think and how dogs respond. I found that when I was working with the halo app and the training, I kind of actually enjoyed it. It was like a nice bonding time with my dog. Spot on, very clear, simple instructions. It teaches you how to use the, the collar. All that is really good, but definitely an edge to Caesar and his team with the halo collar. And just developing the whole training. In fact, uh, if you've got problems, you can't figure something out, Halo stands behind you with support. You can actually go on to the app itself and there's something called the dog park. Dog park, what's that? You're not playing with your dogs, but you're connecting with someone from the Halo team who, if you like, 
could video chat with you. We could see the dog, could check the, <laughs> wrong call, could check the, the fit of the collar, can check whatever it is that you need help with. Even go onto your app and set up the boundaries for you. So that's like a amazing level of support. I can't think of any tech product that I've ever had that has got support that's right there that will come on screen and talk to you and help you use the caller to its best ability. That makes you really feel secure that the money that you're investing in this tech is something that really is gonna be put to good use. Alrighty, battery life, battery life. Why are we talking about battery life? Well, what if your dog collar kind of died right in the middle of some big adventure? I mean, that, that could be pretty serious, right? Halo promises up to 24 hours of battery life to keep your dog safe. I've never even gone close to using 24 hours, but I'm sure that's the case. Spot On, on the other hand, is offering around 18 hours. So the difference might not seem huge, but huge but it can be really vital in certain situations especially when you're camping you're unable to charge you know just having that extra little bit of battery life just like on our cell phone <laughs> you want your battery life to last as long as possible we could talk a little bit about durability here's the halo i'm going to put it up here really close so you can see it all the way around uh, again this protective cover is really really nice different colors if you don't like this color, uh, several options for you. Uh, but I, I really like the feel of this collar. Spot on, um, strong collar, just like the Halo, I think it's gonna last. I don't see it really getting broken down. Um, again, with the protective cover, you can actually take it off and wash it. Uh, this one looks a little bit more like, you know, a techie device. Whereas I think this one, the looks of it is, uh, you know, it just looks a little bit more finished, I guess, that I would say. Okay, just kind of wrapping this up uh, again. Obviously, I really think both dog collars are amazing products. Great pieces of tech. Give you great peace of mind. It's something that I think every dog owner should consider. Highly recommend it. Why would you actually want a collar? Maybe we should have covered that in the first place. But... Here's what I think the major reason that you'd want a collar is probably for confinement, right? Say you've got a yard, the dog can jump over the fence. I've got a friend who has a very small fence uh, and the HOA will not let her raise that fence so the dog can easily jump over. Maybe you've got a huge yard. Maybe you live out in the country. Maybe you go camping a lot. Maybe you go to a friend's house or your family's house that doesn't have a fence. These are all great reasons for a GPS enabled collar. Um, other things that are great about the collar is the GPS real-time tracking. You got GPS with the Halo, you've got cellular, you've got Wi-Fi, right? So you can actually know where your dog is at all times. And that gives me a whole lot of peace of mind, knowing that I can always track my dog if it were if you're to get loose. I mean, dogs do like to wander. Dogs do smell squirrels and other animals that they jump over the fence that they go after and they can get in a little bit of trouble. But immediately, I'm gonna know where my dog is. With the Halo, they've also got this extra little feature. It's a whistle function, a callback function. You hit the button on your app and then suddenly, the dog hears a whistle and they come running back. That's if you do your homework and you do your training. I get the stinkiest, smelliest treat to my dog every time they come back and the whistle function. And uh, they seem to know that that is a really good thing when they hear that whistle function. Maybe even a little bit more fun than chasing a squirrel, who knows. Okay, as I wrap this up, I wanna thank Halo for sending me their collar to review and also scoring a spot on collar here to check out as well. Both great collars. Hope you like this video. If you do, leave some comments below. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you would. And have a great time with your dog. That's what it's all about. Thanks for watching.